bring it. Saturday looks great. High of about 80 tomorrow, so notice the quick rebound in temperatures. Today, a high of about 68 to 70. Tomorrow, near 80, 82 on Sunday. And the only thing to keep an eye on is late Sunday night, the potential for a few late night showers. And that's ahead of our next cold front, only a couple of days after this last cold front. And it'll just reinforce some cooler air into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week before our next system unfolds for Thanksgiving. But this weekend looks great. If you're traveling anywhere across the state, Austin, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, sunny skies, beautiful weather, highs in the 70s tomorrow. And Sunday, a bit more clock over for the uh, back half of the weekend. And even in Houston, they may see a few showers on Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. In the meantime, though, it's high pressure. That's the big story, really driving in the colder air from the north. Anywhere north of I-10 is where colder air is parked. But here in the area, here in the coastal bend, it's not too bad. It's 56. It's mostly cloudy. Winds are at 9. Dew point humidity is down. Remember, the dew point, anytime it's below 60 degrees, it feels good out here in terms of the humidity. So anytime it's in the 40s or 30s, that's desert like dry air and it feels crisp out there. 54 at Rockport, one better in Alice, 57 in Kingsville for the uh, King Ranch Ranch Hand breakfast later on today. Uh, winds are from the north northeast at 15 miles an hour, especially in Port Aransas. Watch the wind direction as it slowly turns from the Gulf of Mexico later on tonight. Why that's important? Well, every time we get a southeast wind, that starts to usher in more humidity. And by tomorrow, that's why we are going to see a high of about 80 degrees for Saturday. But enjoy today. Morning clouds, afternoon sun, skies will eventually clear. High of about 68. Tomorrow, very small chance at rain. Don't even worry about it. On Sunday, late night is when we could expect our next window for rain, and that's ahead of our next cold front once again. So it should push in after sunset Sunday night into early Monday, so basically in the overnight hours. And then by tomorrow morning, though, if you have plans to go out for fishing or anything for tomorrow morning with the family, 50s and 60s on the map, partly cloudy, very light east southeast winds tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s, lower 80s. And then Sunday night is when the cold front approaches from the north and it should push in again after sunset Sunday night. Within a few showers materializing along the front, Monday it's quiet, Tuesday it clears out to sun, Wednesday not bad. But Wednesday night into Thanksgiving Day, that's when it gets a little unsettled, uncertain when it comes to the forecast between here in Austin and even out west in the Del Rio and Eagle Pass. We could be looking at the potential for a few localized heavy downpours on Thanksgiving Day. Obviously, this is six to seven days out. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep you posted. But for the next seven days, only about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall possible higher totals northeast of the coastal bend. Seven day forecast shows a quick warm up tomorrow. 78 tomorrow, 82 on Sunday. Very small chance at rain during the weekend itself, but late Sunday night is when a better chance arrives with that cold front. Monday 71, Tuesday 74 and middle to upper 70s with a chance at rain on Thanksgiving. John Thomas. Ryan, thank you so very much.